What few people realize is that the Tesla Model 2, billed as the brand's people's car, may hide more secrets than the Cybertruck itself. The idea of an affordable Tesla for $25,000 is enough to grab headlines, but what's really catching attention is what's behind this apparent simplicity. According to leaks and internal updates, the Model 2 may be packed with technologies that, until now, had only appeared in prototypes or more expensive vehicles. We're talking about features discreetly tested in the Cybertruck, the RoboTaxi program, and even charging systems still in beta. It's no coincidence that many experts are beginning to see the Model 2 as the centerpiece of Tesla's bolder strategy. While most see only the price, those who look closely see signs of something bigger. Smart charging, possible integration with wireless charging, and even a new autopilot mode. Elon Musk has never hidden his intention to make technology more accessible, but this time it seems he's betting big on putting cutting-edge features in the hands of everyday people without having to charge a fortune for them. The most curious detail is how these innovations are being live-tested on other products before landing in the Model 2. The Cybertruck, for example, served as a mobile laboratory. Even features that didn't make it into final production, such as inductive charging, are still on Tesla's radar and could very well gain new life in the Model 2, whose compact, low-slung design favors precisely this type of technology. RoboTaxi, in turn, previewed autonomy and artificial intelligence solutions that would make sense not only in commercial fleets, but also in everyday cars. And it doesn't stop there. Another important clue lies in Tesla's investments in charging networks and the integration of these networks with payment and navigation systems. It may seem like a technical detail, but it has everything to do with the Model 2. After all, a popular car needs to work well for those who don't have a garage with an outlet or a supercharger within three blocks of their home. In this sense, the quiet improvements being made to how Teslas connect to public infrastructure could make the Model 2 the brand's most practical car, even though it's the cheapest. Autopilot is also expected to undergo specific changes for the Model 2. Tesla is rumored to be testing a low-power mode which saves energy without compromising essential autonomous driving features. This would make perfect sense in a car focused on efficiency and accessibility and shows that the company is adapting artificial intelligence not only to do more, but to do it better within specific contexts. And the Model 2 could be the first in line to debut this balance between intelligence and economy. Another point that shouldn't be overlooked is the potential use of materials and architecture inherited from the Cybertruck. Not in the raw, futuristic look, but in the concept of modularity and assembly simplicity. Tesla already masters processes like gigacasting, which drastically reduces the number of parts and speeds up production. Bringing this approach to the Model 2 not only reduces costs, but also facilitates mass adoption something essential for a vehicle that needs to be manufactured in millions of units per year. And the more efficient production, the more room there is to invest in internal technologies without inflating the final price. If all this sounds overly ambitious for a $25,000 car, that's because it is. But Tesla isn't playing by the industry's usual rules. It's trying to create a new category, affordable cars with a premium soul. And to achieve this, it's pulling technologies from different fronts and adapting them to the profile of the average driver. This doesn't mean the Model 2 Cadences Tidantutitidrautus will have all the latest technology, but rather the most useful and necessary features to make everyday use simpler, smarter, and more connected. These signs of technological integration reinforce an increasingly discussed thesis. The Model 2 won't just be the cheapest Tesla, It'll be the most strategic one, a car that could transform how people view electric vehicles, bringing features previously exclusive to millionaires to supermarket parking lots and cramped garages. Rather than just being a gateway to the brand, it could become the model that finally, truly popularizes the Tesla lifestyle. The key piece of this potential silent revolution goes by the name of Multipass. At first glance, 
It seems like just another feature within the Tesla app, but what lies behind it is a bold attempt to rewrite how energy is paid for in the electric car world. Instead of relying on different apps, various cards, or third-party bureaucracy, Multipass promises to simplify everything with a single gesture. Tap the Tesla card on the charger. Charging occurs automatically, as if the car owner were using a supercharger, even if they're far from one. This idea originated in the Netherlands, one of the countries with the highest density of public chargers in Europe. And it wasn't announced with fanfare or fanfare. It simply appeared in the 447.0 app update, hidden in the code, until more observant users discovered its existence. The fact that Tesla released something so strategic, so discreetly, already demonstrates its intention. To test quietly, fine-tune the details, and only then expand globally. And it's precisely this expansion that's drawing the attention of those following the Model 2's behind the scenes. Consider this. The Model 2's target audience is different. They often don't have a charger at home or even a garage. They'll rely heavily on the public grid. And that's where Multipass comes in as a direct solution to a real problem. By allowing any compatible charger to function as a supercharger, Tesla eliminates friction and turns a common headache into something as simple as paying for lunch with a credit card. For those migrating from a combustion-powered car, this could be the deciding factor when making a purchase. And the most interesting thing is that Multipass doesn't depend on Tesla building more stations. It uses the existing infrastructure built by other companies. This means that the Model 2, even though it's an entry-level car, can access a massive charging network without the driver needing to download third-party apps, create different accounts, or learn new systems. It's a Tesla experience, even outside of Tesla. And this completely changes the perception of practicality in an electric car. The technical operation is also simpler than it seems. Simply activate Multipass in the app, tap your Tesla card on an NFC-compatible charger, and voila, charging begins with direct billing linked to your account. Everything appears in the app's history, just like any supercharger recharge, even remote session start is available, meaning Model 2 owners don't even need to leave the car if they don't want to. In some scenarios, they don't even need to take their card out of their pocket. The next step is already defined. Tesla intends to roll out Multipass throughout Europe, where regulations facilitate standardization among companies, and then to North America and other markets. This coincides, not coincidentally, with the Model 2's planned launch. The timing is clear. Create a solid infrastructure foundation before releasing the model that will depend most on it onto the streets. And the more fluid this foundation is, the more attractive the car becomes. Another invisible but powerful advantage lies in how Multipass interacts with the rest of the Tesla ecosystem. Future updates promise integration with the vehicle's navigation system, meaning the car will automatically suggest available multipass compatible chargers, including prices and estimated times. This means the Model 2 can drive in any city with any charger without the driver having to think twice. For a car focused on practicality and value for money, this kind of feature is gold. Instead of cutting features to make the product cheaper, Tesla is looking for ways to make it smarter to use, even with the inherent limitations of a more affordable model. And this explains why Multipass is so important. It's not just a new way to pay, but a key component in ensuring the Model 2 delivers on its promise. True simplicity, accessible and efficient. As Multipass evolves, it's clear that Tesla is trying to go beyond simply charging. The card, initially conceived as a car key, is gaining new functions and gradually transforming into something bigger, a Tesla digital wallet. With NFC technology at its core, the same card that unlocks the vehicle and activates charging can now soon be used to pay for meals at Tesla Diner, make purchases at Tesla stations, and even integrate future services. The goal is not only to eliminate friction, but to create a seamless experience
between the car and the world around it. This type of integration may seem over the top at first glance, but it makes perfect sense within Tesla's philosophy. Elon Musk has always sought to unify hardware, software, and service into a single platform. And Multipass is exactly that, a link that connects the car, the app, and the external environment. By transforming the card into a digital passport for all Tesla services, the company makes the ecosystem more cohesive without having to reinvent the wheel. A well-planned software update is all it takes. Another point worth noting is how Tesla is revamping its internal navigation system to accommodate this new connectivity model. In markets like Europe, where regulations encourage interoperability between charging networks, Tesla's in-vehicle navigation system already displays external chargers with a high degree of reliability. Now, with Multipass, this feature becomes even more relevant as drivers can choose the closest, cheapest, or least busy station and pay for everything with a single tap. In North America, this transition is slower, but signs of change are already emerging. The 2025 Two software update brought the first third-party chargers to Tesla's maps. While tentative, the move shows that the brand is opening up space for strategic partners like Ionity, Electrify America, and even emerging networks like Rivian. And the Model 2, with its audience more dependent on public infrastructure, will be the biggest beneficiary of Tesla's new open mindset. The true impact emerges when you look at the whole picture. Tesla isn't just making charger access easier. It's centralizing the entire process, location, payment, history, and even technical support in a single environment, the Tesla app. This represents a leap in usability that for the average Model 2 buyer could be decisive. No one wants an affordable car that requires five apps to operate. The proposal here is simple, a smart car that solves your everyday problems on its own. Furthermore, this global approach eliminates one of the biggest barriers faced by electric car users when traveling internationally. Currently, driving an EV between countries requires navigating different rules, adapters, and apps. With Multipass integrated into the navigation system and the car card, a driver could cross borders as easily as they cross neighborhoods. This aligns perfectly with the Model 2's vision of being a simple, straightforward, and user-friendly car, even for those who've never driven an electric car before. There's another layer that few people have noticed, Multipass's potential to fuel new forms of loyalty. By centralizing all payments and access into a single card, Tesla can, if it chooses, offer points, discounts, or benefits to those who use its network frequently. Imagine filling up your Model 2 at a partner station and automatically earning a free coffee at Tesla Diner, or accumulating credit to exchange for accessories or services, all without bureaucracy, without a physical loyalty card, just with what the driver already has in his pocket. This connection between convenience, mobility, and user experience creates a new kind of value. It's not just the price of the car that matters, but what comes with it. And in this game, the Model 2 can come out ahead by transforming previously isolated functions, like charging and paying, into parts of a single, fluid, and invisible routine. Multipass is, in this context, much more than a technical feature. It's the glue that connects Tesla's accessible future with the real lives of those who will drive this car every day. The discussion of convenience wouldn't be complete without addressing the topic of wireless charging, a futuristic promise that seemed distant, but now takes on new meaning with the arrival of the Model 2. Although the Cybertruck flirted with the idea, it never made it beyond the prototype stage. The culprit? The vehicle's height. The gap between the ground and the base of the car was too large to allow efficient inductive power transfer. The signal was clear. This technology doesn't work in every type of car, but that changes when you're talking about a compact lower vehicle like the Model 2. Tesla hasn't thrown in the towel, it's just shifted its focus. The Cyber Cab, the name given to the RoboTaxi project, 
has become the new laboratory for wireless charging. With a lower to the ground profile and predictable use on urban routes, the autonomous car is perfect for testing this type of charging. Simply park on the base and the magic happens. No cables, no touching, no waiting. And whatever is validated on the robo-taxi could very well be adapted for the Model 2, which shares the same logic of practicality and low operating costs. Interestingly, the Model 2 may be the turning point for this technology, not because it's the most advanced, but because it's the simplest. The low ground clearance makes induction efficiency viable. And since this car's target audience will likely rely heavily on public parking and shared networks, the idea of parking and leaving without worrying about cables becomes incredibly appealing. Imagine going out to do some shopping and, when you return, your car is already charged, without you having done a thing. Behind the scenes, Tesla continues to fine-tune technical details like transmission power, thermal safety, and compatibility with different surfaces. These are practical challenges, but once resolved, they could put the Model 2 at the forefront of a quiet revolution, making charging as natural as using Wi-Fi. What began as a futuristic feature limited to prototypes could become standard, and soon. Another point to consider is the synergy between inductive charging and the multipass system. If payment already happens with a contactless card and recharging can happen the same way, why not combine the two? The idea of a station where you simply park your car, wait, and leave with a full battery and a receipt in the app without touching anything creates an almost magical experience. And by combining this with the Model 2's affordable price, Tesla can offer more than just a car, a technological and hassle-free lifestyle. It's important to remember that Tesla isn't alone in this race. Companies like BMW, Hyundai, and others are also developing inductive charging systems. But none, so far, have the capability to integrate this technology into a complete ecosystem like Tesla's. With proprietary software, a dedicated app, a network of chargers, artificial intelligence, and unified management. And the Model 2 could be the ideal testing ground to prove that this isn't just a luxury found in premium cars, but something any driver can have in their daily lives. This possibility also raises real expectations for mass adoption. If inductive charging is successful on the Model 2, it could become standard on future Tesla electric vehicles. What's more, it could force competitors to accelerate their own projects. After all, the convenience of not even having to touch a cable could be more decisive than range or performance for many consumers. The adoption of such a futuristic feature in an entry-level car has a powerful side effect. It changes the perception of what's affordable. If the public previously associated cheap electric cars with a lack of features, they can now begin to see that innovation can also be democratic. And this is precisely where the Model 2 could surprise, making the impossible possible for thousands of new drivers.